math trauma is real. So folks can actually <laughs> deal with a lot of anxiety when it comes to mathematics. But if you can get them to connect on a deeper level, just as humans, you can really kind of build those social emotional learning skills by creating this environment in every single subject, especially in math. We want to help with memory retention. We can take notes, but why not download the notes into our body as well? The body is a great tool that we oftentimes don't utilize when it comes to learning. And so students then start internalizing the content through their body. So you can teach content through movement. You can build connections through movement. Oftentimes, if you want to work in groups, if people aren't gelling, they're not connecting, they don't even know how to begin conversations for conflict resolution, getting them to play and move kind of naturally forces those things to grow within the students. I love that the pedagogy gives me a sense of family among my classroom. I only feel this in Mr. Morgan's class, and it helps me approach everyone in the classroom like we're neighbors or friends. Honestly, there should be more teachers teaching this because I feel as if there's too much of the same going on in most classes, and this is something completely different. It's really nice to come in here and learn new things and apply them to the real world as well because not everything you learn in a classroom you can bring outside. We created this fellowship called the SEND Fellowship Student Empathy Network for Diversity, where we partner students from different communities and they participate in you know, integrated collaborations where we can build empathy between these you know, communities that are traditionally kind of segregated from one another. The CFP Legacy Award is going to go a long way in helping fund our SEND program to be able to sponsor our movement-based activities and collaborations, uh, ropes training courses to kind of bring these two groups together so that we can foster a greater community. Just being mindful that there's so much more that you can do with education if we involve more senses. The more senses that we can use, the more deep learning opportunities we can create. The body is a learning tool that is greatly underutilized. So be courageous, get creative, get the kids up and moving.